Musk said the first person to receive a Neuralink brain chip implant is recovering. A year after being cleared for the test, billionaire Elon Musk's Neuralink has implanted its wireless brain chip in a human for the first time. Musk announced that the patient received the implant on Sunday and is recovering well. The device is meant to have several applications, from restoring motor functionality within people to enabling a brain-computer interface. There was no independent verification of Musk's claims, and Neuralink did not offer too many details. Musk has touted Neuralink as the future of technology and medicine, but ethical concerns have been raised around the chip and its testing. What is Neuralink, and what does it do? Neuralink is a brain chip startup founded by Musk in 2016. A device the size of a coin is surgically implanted in the skull, with ultra-thin wires going into the brain and developing a brain-computer interface, BCI. The disk would register brain activity and send it over to a device, such as a smartphone, through a common Bluetooth connection. The first product, called Telepathy, would allow people to control their phones or computers just by thinking, said Musk. Planting the chip in the part of the brain that controls motor function would also enable people to overcome neurological disorders, the company claims. And please before I forget if you are new to watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel please make sure you do so also. If you have any questions concerning this topic drop them in the comments and we will be ready to reply to your comment. What is the human trial phase of Neuralink? The human testing phase will collect data on safety and effectiveness while helping improve the device. Musk said on X on Monday that the initial results show promising neuron spike detection. This means that neurons are sending electrical and chemical signals to each other around the body. Such activity allows us to carry out our everyday functions from eating to talking. When Neuralink initially started searching for trial participants in September, it was looking for individuals with diseases of the spinal cord, a key part of the body's nervous system. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved human trials in May 2023 amid federal probes into the safety of its trials on animals. What testing has Neuralink carried out in the past? Neuralink has tested its chip on monkeys and pigs. The company showed several monkeys playing basic video games or moving a cursor on a screen through their Neuralink implants. Although Neuralink says no monkeys died as a result of their implants, there have been reports of issues with the implants on monkeys, including paralysis, seizures, and brain swelling. Are any other companies involved in such projects? There are some 40 brain-computer interface trials underway, according to an online database of active clinical trials in the United States. Australia-based company Synchron implanted its device in a U.S. patient in July 2022. Synchron's implant does not require cutting into the skull for installation. Other trials target medical needs, while Musk's company goes beyond that, aiming to allow people to control their smartphones and devices. What are the ethical concerns around Neuralink? Experts have raised concerns about the experimentation of Neuralink's brain chip on animals, as well as potential risks associated with brain surgery, such as brain hemorrhage or seizures. They add that Musk's vision of implants raises privacy and surveillance concerns. Scant details have been available on users' ability to retain control of their personal data and neural activity. And also Elon Musk claims the Neuralink mind control device has been implanted in people. Eight years after its inception, Neuralink owner Elon Musk says the first device had been implanted in a human brain. It has the potential to be a revolutionary use of technology. And, just as Tesla helped make electric vehicles mainstream, the big question is whether Neuralink can have the same paradigm-shifting impact in brain implants. The initial key use for such an implant is to help people with paralysis live more independently. But the ambition continues. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. There's a long history of this sort of endeavor. In the 1970s, Jacques Vidal used monitoring of eye movements to enable paralyzed patients to control a computer mouse. The first human brain-computer interface 
BCI implant was installed in a person in the late 90s. And a pioneer of those early experiments, Philip Kennedy, paid someone to put a Neuralink precursor implant in his head in 2014. Just like Neuralink, these implants monitor brain activity to translate it into computer input in what might come across as telepathy, hence the name of this first Neuralink product. From just a few neurons, patients could move a cursor on a computer screen and communicate by picking words or letters from a menu, reads MIT Technology Review's explainer on Kennedy's career. However, Kennedy ended up paying to have the implant removed, as the implant site failed to properly heal, inviting potential infection. U.S. citizens can sign up on the Neuralink website to express an interest in becoming involved in future trials. What happens now a Neuralink device is in someone's head. How does Neuralink work? You can think of the Neuralink implant as having two parts. There's the exterior casing, which holds the battery and electronics. It sits on the skull. This includes the brain of the device and its Bluetooth chip slash antenna. Neuralink transmits data wirelessly, much like sending music to a pair of wireless headphones. The neural lace is the second part, 1,024 electrodes distributed across 64 threads need to be implanted under the skull of the patient on the brain surface. A robot surgeon is used for this part, as the procedure requires precision not possible with the human hand. The process may have changed a little since Musk explained the basics of the inversive surgery back in 2020. You remove a coin-sized piece of skull. Then the robot inserts the electrodes. Then the device replaced the portion of the skull that was removed. And we superglue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed. And then you can just walk around right afterwards. It's pretty cool. This lattice of electrodes lets the neural link device monitor the firing of brain neurons perceived as signal spikes. And by monitoring patterns in these spikes, the neural link can learn to recognize types of brain activity, a kind of mind reading. The concept is nothing new, but where older implants might collect just a handful to a couple of hundred of this spike data point, Neuralink can register 1.024. This should make it capable of recognizing more complicated thought patterns and translating them into action in a concept with a robotic prosthetic limb, for example. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the like button below to be notified anytime we post content like this thank you as you do. And don't forget to drop your question concerning the topic.